what you guys today we're taking a look at how to get Windows 11 or Windows 10 to look like Mac OS so if you want to turn your Windows 10 or Windows 11 into something looking like this then stay tuned and watch all of the video and I'll show you how easy it is to do it so first off you're going to need to download some software and this one is called my doc finder you can get it on Steam it used to be on GitHub but now you have to pay for it. It's two pounds and 89 pence, but it's okay. We can show support to the creator by purchasing this on Steam. And uh, once you've got this installed, you'll be able to have the My Doc Finder. So now we've got it paid for, what we need to do is download it and install it. I've gone ahead and done that as you can see here. And basically, once you've got this done, you have now got your little dock along the bottom here. Now, what I'd advise you to do is hide the actual Windows 11 taskbar as well. And you can hide that by just right clicking on it and hiding the taskbar. And also you can hide all your desktop icons as well. So to get the real Mac OS feel, you're gonna need to get a cursor. And to get over to GitHub, you can download a cursor, which works really well, and it's this one here. And once you get this installed, you'll be able to have the Mac OS cursor. So I'm going to go to latest here and we're going to go to download source code. It's a zip file. Extract the zip and drag this onto your desktop. And this will allow you to get this installed on your PC. So I'm going to let this unzip. And there we go. And that's now on my desktop. And what we can do is now install it. You get all those nice animations that you get on Mac OS as well with this taskbar, which is absolutely awesome. I'll go through in more detail about the taskbar in a second but we'll take a look at sierra and also newer go into no shadow and i'm going to go normal for this one and what we're going to do is go down until we see install here right click on this we're going to go show more options and we're going to go install say open and say yes and this will install this onto our pc once we get this little box popping up here what you need to do is go for the uh, scheme here and change it from none to Mac OS. So we're going to change this to Mac OS here and we can then click OK and this will then say yes and we can get this installed on our PC. So let's take a closer look at my doc finder and we can see here up the top it's give us finder and you can show taskbar, hide taskbar and a bunch of other stuff here. So you can hide the taskbar along here and you can also do some other stuff up here, like restart the dock. And there's also file, view, uh, sort by, refresh and window. This always stays at the top here. Show all windows and desktop. And then move it over to the button here. This will give you the sleep, restart, shutdown. So you can get access there. And moving over to the right hand side, you've got access to this area here, which gives you access to your Bluetooth, your uh, internet, and you can see here, we've got access to Wi-Fi, hotspots, and your display and sound, and your clock as well. And you can make adjustments to this inside here. So we've got show system tray, and we also have our sound here as well, which gives you access to that as well. So it looks pretty nice, in my opinion, once you get this fully done. So it's worth having a play around. You can always do this in a virtual machine if you wish. It's only three pounds to buy the actual program. And uh, again, it's if you want to make your Windows 11 or Windows 10 OS look like uh, Mac OS, then you can do it this way. Now, moving on down to the actual uh, My Doc Finder as well, you can see here there is actually a window where we can make changes to the general settings, appearance, and stuff like that. So you can see here light, dark, auto, and uh, follow DS. And there's a bunch of settings in here you can mess around with. Uh, it's really got some uh, settings in here which gives you full control of the actual dock itself. So let's go and take a look at some of the other settings. We've got appearance. Make my dock use custom blur and transparency values. So if you want to mess around with those, you put the check mark in and you can use the little sliders to change the blur intensity and the transparency. I'm not going to mess around with that too much in this video, but you get the general idea. And you can see there's a bunch of other settings in here which you can mess with as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of settings inside here which gives you uh, full control 
of what you want your dock to look like. So you take your time and get it exactly how you like. And once you're happy with all your settings, you can move on uh, down to the next part in the uh, list, which is system icon tray here. And you can see here, display all the icons in Finder. And you can go in here and make changes for your screen and your lock and behavior as well. There's a load of settings in here. And we also have some other ones like Launchpad. So if you want to set up Launchpad and get that all set up here, you can do here the way you like it. We've got Advanced. I'm not going to go into too much detail here. Pretty much you can leave this as stock if you wish. But if you want to get really down and dirty with it, you can really sort of mess around with the settings. So you can see here, Minimize Effects and Windows Previews and also lock and behavior and notifications. And there's loads of stuff in here like time and date, audio, display, network, hardware status, battery, and a bunch of other stuff here like dynamic wallpaper as well. So that is the actual uh, control panel for my dock finder. So let's take a look at how we can add icons down on our dock here. So let's go down to the bottom where the dock is and we'll change the wallpaper in a second. So what you need to do here is you're going to right click on this and you can see here you can add a system icon or you can add an app icon here inside here. You can drag and drop stuff into here as well. So all you need to do is load it up and you can see control panel and there's a bunch of other ones inside here which you can add in. So you can add your Explorer and all those useful ones that you use on Windows because obviously this is still a Windows operating system. And once you add all these in here, you can click OK and it will add them all onto the actual dock itself. So you see I've got a couple of buttons on here, but once you're happy, click OK and it will add it to your dock and that will give you access to your control panel. So I've added a few in here just to show you, and this will give you full access to Windows and they're all on your little dock. So let's go ahead now and get the uh, dynamic desktop uh, wallpaper for this system here. So you can see here Win Dynamic Desktop. You can download it on GitHub. And you can also get it from the uh, Play Store, Microsoft Play Store. You can get it from there as well. So let's go ahead and get this downloaded and installed. It is free. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in here and get it installed on the system. You can create a desktop icon if you want to. I'm going to hide all the desktop icons so it looks nice and clean. But once we get this installed, this will be able to give us access to some nice uh, dynamic desktop wallpapers. So let's load this up and click OK here to choose our language. And we're going to choose English. And then what we need to do here is put an area of location in here. I'm in London, so I'm going to go ahead and put London inside here. You can put your location in here as well for where you want to. And you can also see down there, use the uh, specific sort of time zone there. So there we have our desktop wallpaper. These are uh, animated so when it gets night these will darken up and when it's daytime it will brighten up midday twilight and things like that it will change the actual uh, dynamic wallpaper so i'm going to go ahead and get one of these installed here you can download some and apply them just like i've done here and if you don't want to get uh, into the old hackintosh thing where you completely have to go ahead and install the operating system but you still want to run windows and make it look like mac os then that's basically how you can do it. Uh, there is only one little program that you have to buy. It used to be free, but now he's charging a bit of money for it. And uh, I can see why he is, because obviously he's put a lot of work into it. And uh, I don't think it's that much of a big deal, really, to be honest with you. £2 odd for a program that you can get updates for, and you can use it whenever you like. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Catch you in the next video. Links are in the video description. Bye for now.